Hello everybody, this is my new video and this is part number two of video about other channel. In this video I'm gonna review such topics as LACP fast, minimum and maximum number of port channel members, LACP system priority, LACP interface priority and load balancing. So let's get started. LACP fast. By default, LACP sends out packets every 30 seconds. In case there are no packets during three intervals, the interface is considered unusable. It may cause a potential 90 seconds of packet loss before the member interface is removed from a port channel. The LACP configuration can be changed to make it send packets every one second and three seconds to consider the interface to be unusable. This feature is known as LACP fast and can be enabled on the member interface with the command LACP rate fast. To disable this uh, feature, you need to use no LACP rate fast. This feature needs to be configured on all interfaces on both switches the same. Either LACP fast or LACP slow, as I said, no LACP rate fast. Minimum number of port channel members. As our channel interface becomes active and up when only one interface member forms adjacency with the remote device. But some design scenarios of using LACP require the minimum number of adjacencies before a port channel interface becomes active and up. To configure a minimum number of port channel members, use the port channel interface command. Port channel min links and then a value for min links, for minimal uh, number of links. It is recommended to configure the minimum number of port channel members on both switches. Maximum number of port channel members. An either channel can be configured with maximum number of member interfaces to ensure the number of active member interfaces is equal to power of 2, 2, 4, 8, which helps to accommodate load balancing hashes. The maximum number of port channel members can be configured in the port channel interface configuration mode with the command LACP max bundle and then we have max links uh, value. It is recommended that the maximum number of port channel members is configured on both switches, but it can be configured only on the master switch for that port channel as well. Master switch controls which member interfaces are active by checking the LACP port priority. Lower port priority is better, or in case priorities are the same, then the lower interface number is better. LACP system priority. To identify which switch is the master switch for the port channel, the LACP system priority is used and the master switch has lower LACP system priority. The master switch on the port channel is the one which is responsible for choosing which member interfaces are active in the port channel, in case there are more member interfaces than configured maximum number of port channel members. To configure LACP system priority, use the following command, LACP system priority with priority value where value priority can be in range from 0 to 65,535. LACP interface priority. LACP interface priority is used by master switch to choose which member interfaces are active in the port channel in case there are more member interfaces than configured maximum number of port channel members. More preferred port with lower port priority. To set the LACP interface priority, use the command in the interface configuration mode. LACP port priority with priority value, where value priority can be enraged from 0 to 65,535. Load balancing traffic with other channel. Other channel has a load balancing feature, but this is not pure load balancing of traffic like for example using road robin, where if we have 4 links we will get 25% of load on each link. To load balance traffic uh, across other channel interfaces, which calculates hash, which runs on various packet header fields. The hash algorithm computes a value in the range from 0 to 7. With this value at the basis, a particular port in the other channel is chosen. As a result, it will determine which link will handle which traffic flow. And in this case, we have pair flow balancing. The load balancing hash can be configured with the global configuration command port channel load balance and then we have hash value. The critical point and the best practice here is to use a number of links in the other channel in powers of 2, for example 2, 4, 8. 
This happens because hash is the binary function and for example a 3 port other channel will not load balance as effectively as 2 port or 4 port other channel. The load balancing hash value from common port channel load balance hash can have the following options and the number of these options depends on the platform. Each option shows the values which are used to calculate hash. For example, DST IP, we use destination IP address. DST MAC, we use destination MAC address. DST mixed IP port, we use destination IP address and destination TCP UDP port. DST port, we use destination layer 4 port or TCP UDP port. SRC IP, we use source IP address. SRC MAC, we use source MAC address. SRC mixed IP port, we use source IP address and source TCP UDP port. SRC port, we use source layer 4 port or TCP UDP port. SRC DST IP, this is default, we use source and destination IP address. SRC DST MAC, we use source and destination MAC address. SRC DST mixed IP port, we use source and destination IP address and TCP UDP port. SRC DST port, we use source and destination layer 4 port or TCP UDP port. Load balancing recommendations. Different load balancing methods have different advantages and the choice of a particular load balancing method should be based on the position of the switch in the network and the kind of traffic that needs to be load distributed. In the picture, an other channel of four workstations uh, communicates with a router. Because the router is a single MAC address device, source-based forwarding on the switch other channel ensures that the switch uses all available bandwidth to the router. The router is configured for a uh, destination-based forwarding because the large number of workstations ensures that the traffic is evenly distributed from the router other channel. Use the option that provides the greatest variety in your configuration. For example, if the traffic on a channel is going only to a single MAC address, using the destination MAC address always chooses the same link in the channel. Using source addresses or IP addresses might result in better load balancing. How to verify load balancing? To check which method switch is using for load balancing, use the command show other channel load balance. In the output of this command, you can find the method which switch is currently using for load balance. In this example, you can see that SRC DST IP is the currently configured method for load balance. Let's review configuration of load balancing for other channel. I'm gonna bundle these four links into port channel and see uh, configuration for load balancing. So let's go to switch SW1 first, conf T, interface range G103, channel group uh, 1, 2, mode active. And second one, conf T, interface range G103, channel group uh, to one mode. This one is going to be passive. Let's wait for our port channel. Show interface. Show IP interface brief. It's still down. Show enter channel summary. Summary. And as you can see, our port channel is up and running. So we have layer S, layer 2, U in use, and all uh, interface members are with status P, which means uh, they are bundled in the port channel. The same we should have for switch SW2, show other channel summary. The same as U, all P. So show uh, other channel load balance. So for now we have uh, configured by default method for load balancing is source destination IP. Let's go and change, uh, check how can we change it. Port channel um, load balance 
and then we have options for methods for this switch and for these iOS uh, I have this number of um, methods have destination ap destination mac address source destination ip source destination mac address source ip source mac address so just for our example i'm going to change it to source dst dst mac show other channel load balancing so we can see source dst mac now Let's go to switches W2, show other channel load balancing. We have default one, source destination IP, conf T, port channel, load balance, SRC, DST, MAC. Change to MAC. Okay, and for now, one more configuration example. What I wanted to do is to configure maximum a number of interfaces in port channel. So, conf t. For example, we have for now we have four links in our port channel. But I can I can configure maximum number of links? Let's say two. And uh, for uh, this, uh, if I configure it for two, then it means that at each moment only at any moment um, only two links are going to be active in this port channel uh, let's go and uh, sh for now all four links are active they all all bundled so conf t port channel I want to interface port channel one two LACP max bundle and let's say number two show other channel summary. For now, you can see that we have only two uh, interface members bundled, and two these two interfaces are in hot standby. I'm going to configure the same on the second switch conf t interface port ch port channel to one LACP max bundle two. And at this moment, uh, show system uh, LACP system ID, show LACP system ID. You can see that switch SW1 has a less MAC address, lower MAC address, and it uh, that's why it has le lower system ID because for SW1 this uh, we have this MAC address. And that's why switch SW1 is the master switch for this topology. It means that uh, switch SW1 chooses those links or those uh, interfaces or ports which are active uh, when we have more uh, ports bundled into port channel then we have uh, configured the maximum number of uh, ports. And um, by default interface is chosen uh, uh, for bundling if you have maximum number configured if it has lower port priority so let's go for, to our switches w2 and try to change um, port priority to show other channel summary so for example let's go to interface g13 and change LACP port priority to zero and interface G12 LACP port priority to one by default it is um, what show other channel LACP let's say neighbor 
we can see that by default pro uh, priority is 32768 and now you can see that our g13 and g12 has um, on the neighboring switch on sw2 has port priority 0 and 1 respectively so now um, show other other channel summary summary but still we have the same uh, g10 and g11 uh, active because this switch sw2 is not master switch now i'm gonna change uh, this switch to master switch uh, lacp system priority i'm gonna uh, set system priority to one it will change show show lacp system id uh, system id to this so this uh, system id is, is lower than on sw1 and this switch is going to be master switch uh, at this moment show other channel summary and now you can see that uh, we have g12 and g13 uh, active they are bundled and these two g10 and g11 because they have default port priority they are uh, hot standby ports it is also can show other channel summary uh, hot standby and bundled in port channel and these ports are active at this moment in this port channel so this is all what I wanted to show for load balancing. Thank you for your attention. Here you can find some very useful links with information that I've used during preparation and studying. At this point I would like to say thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I wish you success in your studying and I hope to see you soon. Ciao ciao!